It's simple and stark math in Thunder Bay. More new COVID cases in the last couple of weeks than all pandemic. For Jack Murphy, it's not just about closing his gym again. It's kids back to homeschool. Stress, uncertainty, life disrupted. We don't know uh, what's going to be going on. There's no timelines that are given with any of these lockdowns. Until now, Thunder Bay, relatively isolated, was relatively unscathed. Last month, outbreaks spread in two correctional facilities and within the homeless community. It is being spread, you know, from person to person. It, it appears really fairly easily as people, you know, get together or you know, are interacting. In the federal health minister's riding, schools are closed along with non-essential businesses. The main hospital has had to transfer patients to other regions to keep the ICU manageable. Speaker, Thunder Bay is in absolute crisis. In seemingly far off Toronto, the opposition so raising it in question period, along with First Nations vaccines in the north. What has Ontario done to this Indigenous MPP criticized by the Premier for traveling outside his community to get one? So thank you for, for doing that and kind of jumping the line. As Turns out that MPP was invited. Politics aside, vaccines are being prioritized to the region. But that alone won't resolve this. Meanwhile, in Sudbury, cases are also starting to spike. Grey restrictions, effective midnight. We are seeing uh, evidence of the, uh, the uh, uh, United Kingdom variant in our community. Uh, we know that it is um, much more highly transmissible. Murphy, meanwhile, is hoping health officials start considering proposals for businesses like his to operate safely. He's getting by largely on support of customers, still paying fees. We don't know how long we can sustain it. For Ontario's North, it's also an outbreak of uncertainty. Cameron McIntosh, CBC News, Winnipeg.